An international football match-fixing suspect has been arrested in Milan following a tip-off from Singapore authorities. The Slovenian man, Admir Sulic, had bought a one-way ticket with the intention of surrendering. He had been on the run since late 2011. And he's believed to be an associate of Dan Tan, who is suspected of masterminding the world's largest match-fixing syndicate from Singapore. Interpol broke details of the tip-off and called for Tan's arrest during a match-fixing conference in Kuala Lumpur. How do you curb match-fixing? According to the Interpol Secretary General, you need to take it into the 21st century. It has to be done in real time and not in retrospect. It would require the widest possible coordination and immediate information sharing between all countries to help stop the scourge that is forcing the beautiful game into disrepute. While transnational organized crime groups are using modern technology to coordinate communication, transportation, and betting options to their advantage, 21st century police, prosecutors, and judges of virtually every country are forced to use centuries-old law, rules, and practices to fight crime. As a result, we keep falling behind. He praised the effort of the Singapore police in its swift action to notify its Italian counterparts immediately that an associate of match-fixing suspect Dan Tan was due into Italy, something that was happening in real time. That sort of cooperation was vital to fight criminal activity in football. FIFA Director of Security Ralph Mushka was also on hand to stress that there was no quick-fix solution to keep the game clean. Those involved with the game needed to be taught the importance of playing with integrity. If this problem isn't sorted soon, football will lose and the repercussions would be very severe. Fans will turn away from football and not filling the stadiums. Pay TV subscription for football matches and TV broadcasting rights will not be sold. Sponsors would hardly be found. One key element that was brought up time and time again at today's conference on match fixing was that the old ways need to be changed. There needs to be better and faster coordination between law enforcement agencies and football associations on a local, regional and transnational level. Lance Alexander. Channel News Asia. Meanwhile, a team of four senior officers from the Singapore Police Force and Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau will head to the Interpol headquarters in Lyon, France within the next two weeks. It will assist a global task force in match-fixing investigations.